What's going on guys, it's Kyle the How2Guy123 here and today I'll be showing you guys how to use your Android smartphone or tablet as a speaker for your PC. Now this is very simple and we're going to be doing this over Wi-Fi so there's no cables or anything needed and your smartphone doesn't have to be rooted or anything, you can do this straight off uh, any Android smartphone. So in this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to use your Android device as a speaker and output audio from your PC but in my next video I'll show you guys how to use it as a microphone and input audio to your PC. So let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. So first things first, on the PC side of things, go into your internet browser and uh, if you go to the description of this video, there'll be a link for this website here and this is where we're going to download the program that will stream the audio from our computer to our Android phone. So all you have to do is find the operating system you're on, uh, I'm assuming that you're going to be on Windows 7, 8, or 10. So you can just click this one, you can also get it for XP, Linux, and Raspberry Pi. And when you click on it, it's going to take a second to download. Uh, takes a second to start the download and then we can just go ahead and uh, put that on our desktop so I'm just gonna move this over and put that there and then you're gonna need some sort of uh, program to extract this so I like WinRAR uh, you can also use 7-zip I want to show you guys how to get this I'm pretty sure so uh, I'm pretty sure everyone has some sort of uh, program to extract uh, zip files with so once you have that right click on it and then click on extract here and that's going to put this little uh, installer on our desktop. Go ahead and double click on it. And then when it asks you, click yes. And now this setup is gonna pop up. And click on next, I accept, next, 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 and next, and install. Uh, the nice thing is you can just click, keep clicking uh, next and it's not gonna install any bloatware or anything. And now we can go ahead and check launch Soundware server if you would like. Click finish and now this is going to pop up. Now you're gonna, you might get this little error here and that's okay. We can just uh, click OK. And now this is going to pop up. And now we're going to want to move on to the phone side of things. Alright, so now over here on the phone side of things, first things first is go over to the Play Store and go to the search bar here and type in Soundwire. Uh, just call, type in Soundwire and then you're going to want to tap on the free one. There's a paid one, but the free one should just work just fine. Now go ahead and tap on install and let that do its thing. Now go ahead and tap on open and then this should come up. Now there's two ways that we can connect. Uh, the first thing we can do is uh, it's going to try if we go ahead and tap on this button do a one long tap it's going to try and auto connect but uh, one thing I forgot to mention is make sure that you on, are on the same Wi-Fi connection or same network uh, as your PC. Now like I said before if we do one long tap on this button here, which I'm going to go ahead and do, it's going to try and automatically find our PC, and it did. So if we go over to our PC now, uh, and under the SunWire server, under status, it should say connected. Now if that doesn't work, I'm just going to disconnect here. You can disconnect by just tapping on the X there. Now if that didn't work, uh, under server address, you can see there's an IP address here, and in, on, the, uh, on the app here, if we go under server and we type in that IP address, now if we do one just short tap on the button here, and it's going to try and connect. Now you can see here it didn't work for me, and that might happen to you, and if this happens to you, uh, there's actually another IP address we can put in. If we actually go ahead in the SoundWire server on our PC and we hover over uh, the original IP, you can see that a little box pops up and there'll be another IP. The one already shown is the second one and if we type in the first one which I'll go ahead and do so now if I try the second one and we do one short tap you can see now under status it is connected now you can go ahead and play some audio through your computer and you should hear it through the speakers of your phone now a nice thing about SoundWire is it plays the audio in the background so you can close out of it even put your uh, phone to sleep and you'll still hear the audio come out of the speakers now the one downside about SoundWire is there is a little bit of a delay, I've noticed it. Uh, I would say it's about uh, half a second a delay, so I don't know if I'd want to watch a movie, uh, video, or uh, play some games using this, but you totally can. It might be a little bit annoying though. I'd recommend this for like music, playing. 
Alright, so that pretty much comes to the end of the video, but before I end it off, I'm just going to show you guys around the SoundWire server uh, real quick. So if you want to uh, adjust the volume of the sound that's coming out of your phone, you can obviously do it just on your phone, just adjust the volume on your phone. But you can also do it through here, uh, you know, lower, higher, uh, and uh, if you want to mute it, you can do it through that. Uh, you can't actually adjust it like this. So if you just want to make the volume louder, you can't actually use the volume mixer here. You can even actually mute this and it'll still play sound through your phone. You can also uh, record the audio that's going through your phone, or going to your phone uh, if you want to do that. Uh, if you want to output a specific uh, audio device, you can do that through here. Uh, if you want to minimize uh, this, so when you're uh, streaming sound, to your phone if you just want to have it minimize and minimize onto the taskbar uh, you can do that or if you want to minimize the tray and it'll be down here so that brings us to the end of the video so if this helped leave a like if it didn't leave a dislike uh, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video in my next video I'll show you guys how to use your Android smartphone as a microphone for your PC we are also almost at 1k subscribers 6 subscribers to go and I'll have 2 uh, 1k specials uh, coming out when we hit that and one more thing, uh, I also have a Discord server, we're almost at 100 people on here, and uh, if you ever need help with any of my tutorials, uh, just hop on here, the, the uh, server link will be in the description below, or if you just want to uh, come hang out, just join the Discord server here. So that's pretty much it for this video, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one.